Welcome to the Dirt Shed Show, where this week we're going to be talking about the Single Speed World Championships. We're reminiscing over our first bikes and looking at the Mega Avalanche in Reunion. Very nice. It sounds fantastic. We're going to have all the usual stuff, so let's get to it. It's the Dirt Shed Show. So I'm thinking that we should throw it back just a little bit to when we had our first ever mountain bike. Oh yeah, your first bike. Many moons ago. Yeah. Can you yeah. remember yours? Um, well, mine's a long time ago, but I think my first mountain bike was a specialised stump jumper. Nice. Oh, not bad. Yeah. Would you have given it a super nice? I'd have definitely given it a super nice, although it had a horrible set of blue Kona forks on it. It was a bit of a mishmash. Ooh, project 2s. Yeah, and they didn't look good. Um, so yeah, maybe it wouldn't have got a super nice, <laughs> but I loved it. I had a 1989 Kona Lav Dome, splatter paint yellow, still got it, I'll write it to the pub. I bought that in <laughs> 1995, so it was six years old when I had it. Wow. Oh. Wow, what were you? It's got to be the Diamondback Jump Comp, and it had a set of RockShox duties on it one front mechanical disc brake and a V-brake on the rear. Sounds like it means business. <laughs> it old, was one bad boy. Old bikes sound great, don't they? Yeah. yeah. They've got details to them that I don't know if new bikes have these days. So there's a mega avalanche in the Alps, but there's also one in the Indian Ocean and Reunion Island. And it looks amazing. It's tropical, big old hill and some good racing. This one sounds really appealing mm. to me, I've got to say. Dry trails, dusty, and you finish right down at the beach. What more could you want than a cocktail at the end of the day? Yeah, so saw awesome. some cool races there. We saw the Absalom brothers, yeah. Remy and Julian. And Pauline Fran Prevo, a cross country specialist who actually, in the end, came second in the women's field. Wow, and also legend there, Cedric Grazio, who eventually finished third. He's got a great head cam uh, video of it. He has a horrendous start, so he does yeah. very well to cut through that pack. Remy Absalom took the win. That's his 13th Mega Avalanche in total. Wow. That's impressive, isn't it? That is yeah. a big effort. Something else took place this weekend, which was pretty special. It was the Single Speed Cyclocross World Championships. But don't worry, there was mountain bikers there. There's quite a few mountain bikers, there, actually. Iago Gray, Josh Lewis, Josh Bryson, Mark Scott. Quite a crew. And it was actually won by a mountain biker. Yeah, it? and if you follow any of those guys on Instagram, you'll know that the racing wasn't that serious. There was a lot of drinking. There was those massive gym balls getting thrown onto the cyclists, knocking them off. And it just looked like a good time. It sounds great. But in the end, it was Adam Craig who won. Yeah. So we've got ex cross country World Cup racer and Enduro World Series racer who took the win. So he beat all those guys. Do you know the best part? Got a tattoo. You got a tattoo. Talk about tattoos got last week's show. Yeah. Yeah, the winner gets a tattoo. That's a great trophy, isn't it? If mm. you win an event, it's, you've got it for life. Now, we love making videos about mountain biking, and we'd do it for free, wouldn't we, for that too? But if you'd like to support GMBN, yeah, you can go to the shop and you can buy things like this Christmas jumper, this long sleeve t shirt, the new jacket, which has been Ooh. keeping me warm, but not you yet. I haven't got one yet. I haven't got one yet either. Mm, you poor yeah. guys. But it is a great way to support the channel uh, and look pretty cool at the same time. Yeah, and you could wear yeah, that on one. Christmas Day as you well. You could wear this on Christmas Day, and this one you could just wear to look cool. And the best option is you could colour this in too. You can have any <laughs> Christmas colours in. <laughs> <laughs> get me a pen. Someone get me a colouring pen. I need to learn to stay between the lines. Hey, this is actually really good fun. Whilst we leave Martin Cullen in at nursery, let's take a look at progression okay, session. What have and we this got? is Charlie Mosedale. And I know these jumps. This is Canuck Chase. Oh man, they look really good fun actually. That's a cool video, Charlie. They're pretty big jumps, actually, especially. I've ridden there. Eh? Have you? Yeah, it's good. Um, yeah, awesome. Love seeing that. Keep sending your progression sessions to dirtshed at gmbn.com. I think my pen's running out. Ah! Hey, let's get going with some fails and bails just to get things moving. No, riding in snow is fun until... Oh! Oh! Oh, oh. oh a double over-ender. Double OTB. That Not is. cool. But I'll tell you what, guys, I've got some colouring in to do, so if you're in the mood for it, we can yeah, watch some more. watch some more. I'm dead keen for it. Well, we know what to do next. Run VT. Oh my god, there was, there some, was some good ones there. There were some nasty week. ones there. Oh, didn't Tell like you what. it. Felt uncomfortable. We should get some more though for next no. week. Keep them coming, oh. I guess. Yeah, definitely. Send them to dirtshed at gmbn.com and you could be a Thousand Bells star. 
Oh, Martin, this one is on that. It's on your jump. <gasps> oh! oh! <laughs> My God. Could that have happened to me? That's on that jump. Okay, I'm all coloured in, so it must be time for some viewer edits. Yeah, first one comes from, uh, what's his name? Lorenzo. It's Lorenzo. 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 Jorge Lorenzo. Oh. It's an epic jump compilation, so epic. let's take a look. Let's have a look. Which, I don't know which screen to look at. Where is this? Arezzo, Ooh. Florence, Italy. Oh, yeah. Tell you what, it's gone quite big. Yeah, and I tell you what, they're, oh, they're sure like whipping along at speed at times, yeah. aren't they? Riding with his mate. That's a good edit. I like it. I think that's one of the best viewer edits we've had in. Ooh, really nice. It was oh, packaged. Hi, Mark. Packaged nicely. It was good. Maybe not the best. It was one of the best. One of my favorites. One of the best. Okay, one, one of, of my favorites. Your favorite, one of mine. <laughs> we always love seeing your viewer edits, so make sure you keep sending us to, sending them to <laughs> us at the Dirt Shed gmbn.com <laughs> and you can be like a movie star literally like a movie star three two one go neon so the caption contest from last week is this picture of me and apparently it looks like i'm trying to see an opera or i'm not so sure it could be something else and that's what the comment suggested oh could be could be but if it was an opera neil which one would it be well mr badass productions has predicted this that neil is sharing his beautifully performed version of the fat bike of the opera <laughs> <laughs> i like it pretty good is that the winner i think that's the winner. i think that's worthy of a t-shirt yeah Ooh. i think so send us your details dude and Actually, we'll get it sent over do you know what i want to know have you ever been in an opera uh i've seen the phantom of the opera ah. is that rubbish isn't it oh. rubbish well, He's just like some weird guy who gets cross about some girl who doesn't fancy him and he just throws a big hissy fit. That's normal. Haven't we all been there? <laughs> anyway, this week's photo is viewer submitted. Oh, I like those. Carlos Bruno. I like those a lot. So leave us your captions down below. Uh, I don't know what he's doing. What's he eating? Spaghetti? Yeah. How many uh, grams is that, Scotty? That's what he's asking. 60 to 80 grams of carbohydrates. I think that's looking at like 120 mark. Ooh. So he's a bit over. Yeah, he's over, but you know, Risky. he could be working extra hard, so maybe he deserves it. Okay, this week we've got some great comments. We always get great comments, but let's pick a few out. Scott, what have you got from some of the vids you've been in this week? Yeah, so I've got this one and it says, Fuddle, one, two, three, four, five, something or other. Just chop a leg off and that'll save at least 15 kilograms. Now that's to do with your saving weight video. So yeah. 15 kilograms, is that right? You lose half your power though. Yeah, Yeah, good point. Power to weight ratio would not, not be good. helps. What and else? then, what following else? on from that question that we asked at the start, Alex S is saying, was your first bike Walmart quality? Oh, I don't know. What is Walmart quality? Good not, or bad? I don't good. think good. Not Argos good. bikes. Toys R Us bikes. Oh, mine was high quality. Ooh, nice. Oh, really? Yeah, Specialised Dungeon. That's pretty good, isn't it? Yeah, it's a good bike. Yeah, it's nice. It might oh. have been a rock hopper. Rock but hopper I I think is he's, cheaper than a stunt. I think he's relating to your first sort of ever mountain bike. That was my first ever mountain bike. Okay. Coming in well, swinging. I can't remember which one it was. Nice. I put a video on Instagram this week, you may have seen it, of me falling off my bike quite a lot yes. back when I used to race downhill. Great crash. Yeah. And, a, and a, you know what I mean. A lot of pain involved in those crashes. And actually, Danny Hart commented, he says, Trail bike, the slapping equals pain. He's right. Well, world champion commenting on your videos. Yeah. Do you know yeah. Danny? I do know Danny. Yeah, didn't you, have another, didn't you have another comment on there from uh, Laurie Greenland, who also nearly won Worlds this year? He did year. nearly win Worlds, it did. He said that was his favourite section out of any mountain bike fit. That's nice, isn't yeah, it? It is. He Mr. must Modest. have been about two years old when that came You out. weren't even going to mention that. Wow. Oh, we really God. had to push you to mention it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's time for some shout-outs. And my first one comes from Evil. And now they've released a new trail bike. It's called The Calling. And do you know what I love about when Evil release a new bike? They release a sick edit. And this yeah. is Luke Strobel shredding Ooh. with his body. And I think it's up somewhere in Canada and it just looks awesome. Good rider. And I'm gonna throw to Steve Pete's last orders, covering his last two seasons, trying to get UCI points. It's the first of four parts. It's a great video. Nice reminisce of downhill tales from an absolute legend of the sport. Instabangers! I am thrown to the Instagram account, Drunk Cyclist, and their most recent post is probably the greatest over the bars I've ever seen. And it's in that single speed cyclocross it's world championship. Unbelievable. I am going to throw to this amazing clip of Tony Bow, world motorcycle trials champion for the last 10 years. What? Unbeatable. Literally in a sport, the guy cannot be beaten. He's amazing. His Instagram account is sick. And uh, check this out if you think I'm lying. I'm going to throw it to Evan Guthrie. Now, we rode again in California, like my shout out last week of Mackie Vizina. Those two guys are friends. And what was rad about Evan, right? We rode these really steep trails, 
and he was on this cross country bike, 100 mil of travel, with the slickest tires you've ever seen, and he was shredding. Oh, yeah, you are. Guys, pick those energy levels up, because oh. we are getting into the bike vault. No, oh, sick! I love the bike vault! Let's do it! Right, we're in. The first one comes Ooh. from Scott Joyle in the Pacific Northwest. It's uh, nearly black and white, but it's not black and white. No, the snow's there, though. Oh. I, I tell you what, it's got a lot of feeling, that one. Ooh, feeling inside. Nice. Of it's nice. Yeah. Let's keep the bar, let's keep the bar tight this week. Paul Gordon, your Rocky Mountain. In BC. It's nice. Yeah. It's nice. Missouri. Nice and, yeah. Oh, St. Louis. Oh, yeah, it's nice. It's nice. Yeah. It's very dry. Whoa. Oh, hey, up dirt jump bike. Nice. I like oh. this. Hamish Hutchinson. It's um, a nice dirt jump bike. Yeah, it's, it's a nice. nice. It's yeah, nice. I like the tan tires, yeah. but it's a nice. Yeah. Pretty cool. Oh, oh. a kid's bike. Tracy Roy, or a girl's bike, Neil, in Grand Cash, Alabama, Canada. I think that's a super nice from Neil. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll give you a super nice. <laughs> Um, Steve, Steve McKenzie. McKenzie in the ice. Oh, tell you what, it looks cold. Wow, look at there. that mud guard on the back end there. Where's Killy Cranky? Ooh. Yeah. Scotland. Mm. Is that where the Crankies are from? Yep. Ah. I'm gonna give that a nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh man, this is sick. Tasmania, Australia. I don't know if taking all the colour out of a photo works. It does it for me. That's a super nice. Oh, straight there. Boom. Wow. Ooh. I can, I can see the man, I can see the shadow of Matty. It was nearly brilliant until Matty got his, his <laughs> yeah. shadow in the photo. And near Langola. just blew it. Oh, that's near me, that is. Oh, you know what they place. say about cube? Cube your life. It's nice. It's, it's nice. a nice cube, that. Oh, where's that? Oh, oh Alaska. De Ponte. It is Alaska. I'll tell you what, just because it's in Alaska, the pond in the background, not a pond. Are you, are you going? Pond, yeah. are you? Go on, go on, go with it, go on. <laughs> I feel. Yeah, it's a super. It is a super. Oh, right, the bike Oh, God, I thought it was going to give us another one, and it did. It was like a little bit of a tease. Denied oh, like, Sorry, Keep sending that? your bikes to dirtshed at jmbn.com. Oh, a lot of nice bikes there this week. Hats and bodges, what we got here, boys? Well, this one, I've got to say, it's 100% a bodge. It's it, obviously. It's frightening. What do you even call this? Is that. It's got. Two forks up front. And why? I wouldn't want to see the risk assessment for that. It looks pretty scary. It doesn't you seem like the sort of person who would fill in a risk assessment. Yeah, it yeah. definitely doesn't have any more warranty. Yeah. No. What are we saying about this We're one? We're not recommending it. Don't do it at home? Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's get rid of that. Okay. Uh, my one here is from Oscar Smith. Now, this is a clever use of a little chain link. Link Instead of using your, a zip tie or even a needle and thread, mm, yeah. he's using a quick link. For his chain. So it uh, fixes his short. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and this one is from Ed and it's a proper space saving solution. He's got this his toolbox is, and is, bike stand in one. This is quite quite a shed he's put together. It looks amazing. Uh, that is a hack. Nice. I like it. Love seeing hacks and bodges. Why did he catch his frame and not mine? <laughs> coming up on the channel this week. Yes, tomorrow on Saturday, we've got how to get fitter to help with your mountain biking. Uh, and then on Sunday, we've got cyclocross versus cross country. Oh, it's a good one. Ooh, it's a good video. On Monday, it's how to change your SRAM cassette. And then on Tuesday, it's five ways to have fun in winter. And on Wednesday, it's the question that everyone wants to know. How to wheelie. Oh, oh nice. we all want to know And on that. Thursday, it's the interactive show where you guys can actually ask us some questions about mountain biking and ask Jim the end. Yeah, excellent. And on Friday, of course, it's yeah. the Dirt Shed Show. <laughs> and the rat will be with us, as always. So don't miss it. It's bike time. It's the weekend. It's the Dirt Shed Show! Oh, it's the end of another fantastic Dirt Shed Show. We've had a good time. Hope you did too. That's true. But the best part is, there's plenty more videos that you can actually watch. And one of my favorites right now is five common body position mistakes, which if you click right here, you'll get to. If you click over here, that'll take you through to how to ride slippy trails. And if you're enjoying the channel, which I'm sure you are, then you can smack me right in the pudding to subscribe. <laughs> and don't forget, thumb up like, because you like you're going riding this weekend. Pudding.